Hey Trinity, do you know why plants grow in marshes? I don't know, but we can find out. How exactly are we going to find out? We can find information by collecting data and using different scientific scientific instruments. So what scientific instruments are we going to use? Pitch, temperature, soil, moisture, and our eyes to make observations. Okay, let's get started. This seems fun. Falls faster. Gosh, it was high tide later. Fast. We got um, that one. What else could you do? Hey, Tyler, I don't think we need to be down there. How would we break this in the one part? Looking at the like water, this? Wall, okay, we have stems and leaves. Wait, leaves just stem in. Here, the leaf. No, that's going to leave oh, there. for an hour. Stems and leaves. There's a stem. And then the leaves. Which one falls fast? Well, we didn't grab any roots, so that doesn't matter. Well, we, have, we only have roots a little bit on the grass, but not that much. This one's not falling. Here. That one's no, not falling. Leaves. Okay, what can we use as our instruments? We have found out some few other things that this, and this is what we found. Let's take a look at the next instrument. Oh, no. Do our research so we have a lot of information about the marsh meadow. We know the lily marsh has a pH level 5.3. We know the, so the soil temperature 4.3 degrees Celsius. And the marsh and the soil moisture is 64%. Okay. Question. If a marsh or pond have so much water, then why do the lily pads float? Me. Go. So, so the lily pads don't drown. Go. But is there, but is there a scientific explanation? Yes, there's a scientific explanation for everything. Go. Lily pads float so they can still get sunlight or photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis. Whatever. And the, and the murky water. Okay. Because there is a shallow body of water where rooted plants can grow completely across it. There is a uniform temperature at, and the bottom is murky. Alright, now. Get over here, Trent. Go! Uh -huh.